This is Dynamite Heady for the Sega Genesis. Uh, this game was developed by Treasure. I want to run down some of those games that Treasure made because it's a legendary company. Gunstar Heroes, McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure, this game Dynamite Heady. Uh, they did Alien Soldier, Light Crusader, which I streamed before and I'd really like to come back to. I liked Light Crusader quite a bit. Mischief Makers, Shake Shake, Shake Shake, and a whole lot of uh, shooters, including uh, Silpede for PS2, which I really think is an amazing, amazing game. But they also did like Sin and Punishment, and Van Gaio, and Silhouette Mirage, and all kinds of, all kinds of stuff. Um, so, legendary company, but I feel like we all, we all know that already. You can grab onto things, as you can see in this demo, with your head and suck things in, and that's what you want to be doing, is sucking things in, guys. CyberKaze, thank you very much for the sub, appreciate that very much. Thank you very much, thank you, thank you, thank you. I also wanted to mention, uh... Uh, on uh, YouTube, they started doing uh, memberships on YouTube, uh, so I have extra stuff on there. I've been messing around with um, Binding of Isaac a, a bit more, and Binding of Isaac's a game that you play, like, oh, it's the kind of game you play over and over and over, because it's like a roguelike, um, so I've been, like, trying to, like, learn that game so that, like, I can really, like, make it a lot further in it, so I've been doing some sort of practice uh the streams on there in the in the members area so it's kind of similar to twitch in a way because on here a lot of people subscribe like cyber case subscribed and it's like a 4.99 thing so i have like basically like a lot of like practice streams and other videos on there i just want to let you guys like know about that so on youtube it's like the join button and then they have like emotes and it's a whole thing over there too now i think that's like a newer thing they came out with it's like, you know how they added, they added like shorts and I was trying to do um, like collection videos with the shorts and all that, but uh, yeah, so check that out. That's like the members area. It's a sort of a newer thing on YouTube they're trying to do, which is, which is good because YouTube's kind of a mess and I think it's one of the better ideas that they've come up with lately. Um, so that's a good thing. Uh, Ryan Silver one, thank you very much for the sub as well. He says it's 69 plus two month anniversary. Oh, great! Thanks a lot, Ryan Silver. And it, Ryan Silver's been around a long time. Ryan Silver one, thank you very much. And Step on the Beast 82. Oh, Step on the Beast. You never want that to happen. I should do that. There was that Sega Genesis game too called uh, Isn't a Shadow of the Beast. Uh, what do you guys think of Shadow of the Beast? Anyway, let's get this started. This is uh, Dynamite Heady. Just gonna get it going. It's a very colorful game. It's a little ridiculous, and it might might remind you of uh, a little bit of like Parodius. If Parodius was like Gunstar Heroes, sort of this like run and gun kind of thing. Uh, very colorful, very ridiculous. I have played this game. And I think beat it before, but it was before I started, like, live streaming. So it's been a long time since I played this, but I have played it before. Boxy Brown says, oh, this is a Gunstar ripoff. Well, it's Treasure. Uh, around the same time. So, like, it's the same company. They made this, like this at basically at the same time like this came out the year after so it's i don't know it's like the same company probably a bunch of the same people so i i, I don't know if you're if you can really call it a, maybe it's almost like more like a spiritual successor or something i don't know what you want to like call it i don't even know if that's totally fair but uh i think calling this a ripoff of that is really not if it was a different company you know, oh look at all this look at all those logos there. They're doing a little advertising. <laughs> I like when they like shell in their own games. <laughs> you always thought this was more like that decap attack game. Uh I, I really like decap attack a lot too. Look at this cat. So I think I'm hitting this cat right now. Oh, by the way, speaking of, uh, like, so I just got hit, and 
and when I get hit, it's like, oh, how do you even know what your energy bar is? In the top left there, you'll see like a spotlight. The spotlight is your health bar. It's basically like if it's green, it's good, and if it's... Ooh, I don't know if he's like invincible when he's like glowing like that or what. I think he has to be normal cat to hit him. Or you can only get him at certain times. See, I'm like, I'm almost done here. I feel like he's invincible right now. I could be wrong. Ugh. I think this is where I get my head in. Yeah, right there. I think I got him. There you go. And I was on red, too, so that means I was almost done. Alfred and the Fedic, thank you very much for the sub as well. And Deke777. Need more volume on the game? Sure. Turn it up some. Bum, 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 bum. There's so much going on on the screen, I'm just like, oh my god. It's like, almost like a Jekyll and Hyde town a little bit. With this lady in the Victorian costume. Alfred and the Fedic, thank you very much for gifting subs to Dr. Clay, Akles, C4 Maniac, DJ... Harris, Den, and Mullet. Thank you very much. Oh, so you can do this kind of thing. Where he, go, he like pops up like that. Basically. And then you use your head to bop things. And you get different types of heads from what I remember. To shoot in all different directions. So if you like Castlevania 4 and you like when he whips in all directions, if you're if you're that kind of a Castlevania player, then you'll probably like Dynamite Heady because he can use his weapon in all the directions too. I, I've always been a, uh, I like the old school Castlevania style, um, where you just kind of whip forward. I'm very old school with Castlevania. Ooh, Inviso. Inviso Heady. That's like the effect they would use on Wonder Woman's uh, plane, right? Did they have Wonder Woman's plane in like the Wonder Woman m movies in the new? Remember those? Uh, are those happening anymore? Like what? What did the other one like not do well? The second one? I think the first one did well, right? I didn't see the other one. I saw the first Wonder Woman and. I didn't really care either way. I like Wonder Woman on uh, Super Friends. That's my Wonder Woman. Then again, I just like Super Friends, so. Like all those superheroes, like, it's like, you know, Superman, Green Lantern, all that stuff. Oh God, I like, fell asleep here. Um. That's how, that's how I like all those DC characters. I like them in Super Friends, because it's absolutely ridiculous. That show is insane. I mean, I also, I love the, like, the Christopher Reed, like, Superman's, uh, uh, Superman, like, movies. I mean, those are, I, I love those. Like, Richard Pryor and all that, like, I, I love those movies.
So when it comes to like DC, that's like, and I like you know the old like Adam West Batman and all that. I like it to be ridiculous. Uh oh, here comes Catman. All right, so this is some kind of toy. It's being wound up. Target, target. When is Target, like, the department store going to make... What is the dog's name? Spot, the dog? I'm, like, running really fast right now, and it's really screwing me up. I don't like this item at all. Oh, I didn't mean to get that. He got, like, flash ears. Whoa. Oh, did I die? Uh-oh. So wait, this cat, what is going on here? So the cat is like a robot and then he, he's in, oh, the cat is like in this thing? This is so weird. I gotta hit the green tail on this toy. Oh, and that's the enemy's health. The enemy does have a health bar. It's the it's the spotlight. Right. Um. All right. I guess that's this level. This game's weird. That all happened in front of a entire orchestra. I don't know. I don't know how to describe this game. It's like completely insane. I guess that's why, you know, I was saying it's kind of like Parodius. It's just all kinds of crazy crap going on. And that, look, that's a cat key. He's in love. Aww. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let me catch up with you guys. Uh, 2784, thank you very much for that sub. Do I like Flash? Uh, well, like Flash and um, Aquaman and all that. Um, not really. Honestly. I can't say that I really do. I used to watch, uh, whoa, uh, that in the, in the 90s, it, there was a Flash show, god damn, look at this, look at this effect they're doing here, it's like I was saying about all that, like, DC stuff, though, it's like, I, the Flash was fine with me on Super Friends, I don't know. I can't really take it. I don't know. I don't take any of it very seriously. I just don't really care. Get this guy. Oh, I gotta hit the helicopter thing. Genesis showing off its crazy effects. It's like a Yoshi's Island kind of deal. Come on. I have to be like on the right plane that he's on, and that's a little difficult. God! Ah! Oh! There. Come on, be done. No! I'm impressed with the visuals, though. Oh, look at the cat in the background. Is he controlling this helicopter? That, that dirty cat. Be done. Oh, now I can keep moving. Oh, I got an extra heady. 
I got more head. It's always good. Here we go. Um, uh-oh. Oh no! It's all fake because it was all a play. <laughs> so I'm trying to hit the center thing, I guess. I can hardly even tell what's going on here. It's like, I, I can't really control it, so I don't know why they're telling me to go up and down. I guess I am controlling it, like, a little bit. This is, like, super odd. I don't know what I'm supposed to be hitting. I, th I guess, I think it's the middle. If I could get that item. Oh my god. I just wanted that part to be over. It's like, it was too much. Whoa, what? Oh, basketball. My favorite. Okay. Make five shots. What do I get if I do it? What do I get? Better get something for it. Whoa. Zero, zero, two? I thought I made more than that. Come on, work on your game. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I have to tell you, it's, this is going to be a big shock to the system, but I'm not that great at basketball. Believe it or not, guest puppet invited. Oh, maybe it's Ernie. What is that? This is creepy. So it's a clown marionette, but the guy on the, the marionette on the bottom is a dude in a top hat with a cane. You know, some people tell me sometimes that they like to smoke when they watch my streams. This might be a good one. Not it, not for me, but for the game. <laughs> Boom. Ah! Dude, this is weird. All right, so the set dressing comes down. Now we have like a astrological thing. I, I'm, I'm sure I hit him in the heart, right? Uh, or not, wait. Whoa, and now he's a dinosaur. Oh, it's the foot, I guess? Is that what he said? Oh, it's all the pieces of... Okay, the middle. And now the head. And, and now, the head, it's like Voltron. This is just like Voltron, guys. And I'll form the head! Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I'm like done. There's like so much on screen, it's hard to even keep track. This guy ro rolling out the green carpet. 
I keep feeling like I want there to be a slide and there isn't one. All right, so the body. God. Get away from that. Come on. I'm trying. Oh my god. No! Oh man. I don't want to wait for that guy to roll that thing out. I just want this guy to come out. Alright, that, that fire has been getting me. Give me that. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. That. You get that head out of here. Good. All right, now he's gonna come down in the other costume. I don't think I can hit him right now. Now let's get this. Uh, uh, I didn't mean to get the speed! Give me something else. Oh, man. I'm, like, dead, right? Almost. Dude, this is, like, so hard. Oh, my God. Is that... That's it? I'm dead. I couldn't get past that guy. Bye-bye, game over. Oh, my God. Alright, now we start over, I guess. Wow, that got hard. Oh my god, it was like the fire. There's so much going on on the screen that it's like... Oh. Alright, opening demo. And then, like, this part is so easy. Alright, so at least I know there's... You only get so many, like, lives. Well, we'll see how far I can make it. I'm gonna have to get used to this. I don't think this part, like, even matters. Because he, he just grabs these guys. And I don't think I'm getting hit or anything during this part. And I don't think you can blow this thing up, it doesn't seem like. I wonder if you can. Oh, I did, actually. Never mind. So I saved him. Do I get anything for that? Give me five extra lives for doing that. Then you can't you can't hit this plane. And who's in the plane? Is it the cat? I have so many questions about this game. And everything's a play, right? So, if everything's a play, is it the cat's play? Is he putting this play on? Because he keeps coming back. Or he's he's trying to destroy the play. And then we have a, we have a geisha scene that comes in. What that has to do with anything, I can't tell you. It doesn't it just seems like the game developer that like the guy doing this part he's like I want to put a geisha in the background that's what I want and then he did it there's no rhyme or reason isn't that like a e Honda in Street Fighter 2 isn't that a background with uh, and the sun and everything I think they do something similar. Uh, Maxi Hacks 200, thank you very much for the sub. Yes. This game is so bright. Yeah, it's burning your eyes. Yeah, it's it's bright for me too. It's very, it's super vibrant. Especially look at this town. Oh my God.
The story follows Hetty and his adventures to save his world from the evil puppet king, the dark demon, who is transforming all the puppets of the world into his evil minions. To succeed, Hetty must overcome the king's army, which features the likes of Trouble Brun. Is that the cat? Like... They used all the colors, it's true. I'm really deep into this Dynamite Hetty lore. I hope they make a full miniseries and trilogy of movies, right? Well, they're making a movie of, uh, what was it? Oh God, something that was like really surprising. Some old game they're making a movie of. Forget. So who knows what could happen? Oh, com yeah, Comic Zone, thanks. They're making a Comic Zone movie, which is Sega Genesis game. So if they're making a Comic Zone movie... I guess there could be a Dynamite Heavy movie. That's the world we live in now, I guess. Like, how did, how did that happen? To where there's gonna be a Comic Zone movie? That's the weirdest thing I've ever heard in my life. Where's the Columns 3 movie? With the guy on the box cover. That's the direction Hollywood goes in. They're like, let's just make games based off a of Sega Genesis game. Let's let's make movies based off a of Sega Genesis games from the '90s. I think that's a great idea, actually. That that is the direction Hollywood should go in. That's how Hollywood redeems itself, honestly. Like a hundred, a hundred. I'm like dead serious. Hollywood totally could redeem themselves. There you go. There's your secret, Hollywood. Just make. Game, and movies based on Sega Genesis games. All you gotta do. I gotta learn what all these symbols are. Tell me you wouldn't go see a Contra Hardcore movie. I'd I'd be there. Who would play the wolf? Or the robot. Me? Oh, I would pull, I would play him. I am Weasel. Thank you very much for the sub. We need a Mystic Defender movie. Ooh, Mystic Defender movie. I think the hammer's just stronger. I don't like know which parts of him are hitting me. Okay, that's yeah, I didn't want that. Ugh. No. What's that? That's like a time stop. I think he's done. There. And then he's in love. Who's this person he's in love with? There does need to be a movie about this to explain it. Cause1973, thank you very much for the sub. James Pond. Light Crusader could work for a movie, maybe. That'd be cool. I'd go see Light Crusader, the movie. Thank you. 
Why aren't they making that? Make that. The hammer. The hammer is the strongest weapon? Okay. I figured. I'm just learning this here. I don't know. Ooh. Now is that a, is that what was that a death or did that just injure me? And what is the banana? Is the banana health? I guess the banana's health. Ah! Guys, tell me what the banana is. Ex ah! Explain this banana to me. God, this is like very hard to walk on. I have trouble walking on this part. Okay. And I'm trying to watch the shadow, but there you go. Okay, I got, I got one. I think there's three of these, right? And then there's this insane part. This, this part, I don't even know. This part's too crazy. This, this part that comes up right here. So I have to hit the middle thing, that like pink part. So I'm trying to push down there. Okay, now I'm hitting up. Which I guess is what they want you to do. I feel like I'm not controlling it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand this. vacuum cleaner head. I guess it, oh, if, so if I hit the other button, that like runs out. If I could get that item, God. This is a total mess. Here, get rid of that. Is it just like random when he brings you near the middle so that I can hit him? Like, there, it's done. I don't get that part at all. Like, I don't know if I'm controlling that green arm. When, when, it, when the arrow like points up, right, it's like you think like, okay, hit up if it's pointing up. But then I hit up and not, like the arm doesn't go up or down or anything. Like it doesn't make any sense to me. I don't get it. This game is full of bosses like that. Weird bosses. Yeah, it's like I feel like I wasn't in control of anything there. I don't think I liked that. Larka, thanks for the sub. Like, and now it's like, this part, I feel like I'm in control of what I'm doing again. D 
Dan Vast, thank you very much for gifting out subs to the community. Appreciate that once again. Oh, come on. That's ducked. Oh, what ha- like, okay, so I get- I fall asleep. What happens? Is that bad? Did I just lose a life? Like... Oh, this is a basketball thing. Uh, he gifted out subs to... Gable. L7 Productions. Uh... Dillo Czar, Zero the Hero, Sean Sean Sean, Bloodbeard, Longshaft, thank you very, and Derivative, thank you. You guys got gift subs from Dan Vasque, appreciate that. Thank you, Dan. Go get one of them. Okay. Come on. It's like gonna stop, right? Did I do it? Come on. How many was that? That was four. I need one more. Oh, the, over here. Get out of here. Come on, basketballs. Come on! Come on! That's five. So do I get anything? Four? I thought I got five. So seriously, this is like ZZZ. If I hit that, is that a death? I don't even understand this. This game looks insane. It is. Like... Z regain health. Oh, that gives you your health back? Alright, well I have my health. I got a secret bonus point? Is that what that said? What? Did I? What does that do? Okay. When he stops, I can head him, I guess. If he ever stops. Pulling on his bow tie. You can stop anytime, dude. There. Come on! Now I need the ZZZ. There. Okay. Oh, this is like as far as I made it for. Alright, I was having a really hard time with this thing. Hopefully I get through this. Come 
There, that was, oh. There. Get my health back, right? I guess. Yeah, okay, when, it did go back to green. He's like totally asleep right now. This is better. Actually knowing what that ZZZ thing did was a big help. Okay, then the other app is gonna go on him. I guess I'll... Uh... Oh! Am I hitting him right now? Like... I don't know if any of that was even counting. Whoa, what, what is this? What is, what is this? I don't know what this is. I'm like a robot or something? What? I don't... What the hell was that? What? I don't get this game. Some heads are bad. So that was like the lips one? That was bad head. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Okay, so... Oh no, that was like the fire thing, I think. Is that that? Oh god, I thought it was the lip one. I just got the... Alright, the fire looking one is the bad one. I didn't know. Because there's another one that looks like lips. Does this eventually go away? I'm gonna try to get just get away from this dude. I didn't know which one. You have to like know what all these do. like make a chart or something like write these down because I don't know what they all are <sighs> all right well now I know the fire looking one is bad She like ducks down. Okay. And now the body. Okay, okay. And then the skirt is like all spikes. Good. And now the body. Okay. <sighs> Man, if I could get that ZZZ now, I could probably do this. Give me that. Oh, give me that. Oh, God. At the wrong time. Oh no! Come on! Alright, now I know what to do. I'm the, I am gonna make a chart. I'm gonna need to know what these are. Uh, hang on a second. Like, I need to know what everything is. Alright, so... Can I still like, shut up for a second? So, okay, hammer. Hammer's good. 
it's like powerful it's just a hammer that i know uh the what is it, like that fire looking one turns you into like a robot thing that's really bad um the ones that are like dots are really good that's just like sort of like a spread shot kind of thing so i know that uh, I think there's one that looks like waves or something. Oh, what's that? That's like a nose or something. I'm gonna. I'll write these down as I go. Up waves. Yeah, like up waves or whatever. Yeah, that's like the shrink. That's a weird symbol for shrink. Oh yeah, and then the, oh, li wait a second. Lips. Is lips the vacuum? The hell? Why are lips? Oh, oh. That they did that. <laughs> they actually did that. <laughs> the lips are the vacuum. Oh, my God. And this is what? 1994, they did that. Wow. That's really funny. This, isn't this like really very sonic right here? It's like you're freeing the animals. I, I feel like this part's very Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, and then ZZZ. ZZZ is, is life. I didn't write that down. Okay. So I had a chart somewhere when I played uh, Decap Attack for all the potions and all that. I'm always like making these charts and stuff. I know exactly like when to hit him now. Bum bum ba da bum. Well, the more I do this, the more I'm learning. What does the back background have to do with the boss? I nothing. I don't know. Who knows, man? It's just so weird. Yeah. Yeah. Alex says, hey Mike, how's the game so far? Is it weird or is it okay? It's really weird. Um, I like it, most of it, but there's a couple parts that like, I kind of, I don't like the part where like you're riding on like the green centipede thing. I feel like that's hard to like know. I feel like I'm not in control of anything on that part. I don't really like that, but the rest of the game I like, like this, this whole part's like fine. These doors are like, I think, training areas, so I'm just like not gonna bother. Unless like I get extra lives or something. Like I don't know if that's like worth doing. Maybe that's part of the problem because I keep skipping that. Should probably do that part. I'm just like impatient.
and am I heady now on sale? Why does it need to say that if I already own the game? Is that like an advertisement for the game I already have? Okay, so let's see, wait. Oh, hold on, okay. So, Bullseye is like, I'm gonna have to like draw that. Dude, and he has like a bow tie on. I don't know, like a barrier or something? I'm gonna write like barrier. Like fire shield or something. Look at the dudes down there. Like, what is that? Those people like just making, fa and then the hat comes off? Like a, what? Oh, and then the, okay, hold on, glass is inviso. Which I don't need that right now. I need, wait a second. I feel like it's like the hammer. Oh, the hammer can kill those. because he does this. It's like a pony and a hot dog and a lemon down there. Sure, it makes sense. They come out of their cage. Some Gumby stuff. Oh yeah, and then there's that thing too. Hold on. That. Which is like, he turns into like spikes or something. There's so much. Hold on a second. Um, like a spike. I think that's like a spiky thing. But I need. I need that. And now the game's lemmings. He looks like he has a straw coming out of his head. I don't even know what to say. can't go back up the pipes. That's not Mario, Mike. This isn't Nintendo. And then you got this little, like, animal running around up here. I'm so confused. Mad Dog and Heavy. The more I play this, the more confused I <laughs> Like, what am I looking at? So you get all the way to the side. Now I get it all the way to the other side. Wait, so if I can get that. Give me that. There. Ugh. Come on! Avoid this thing, it's just hit it. What the hell? There. Why the basketball has to be going around? Oh, and zero, zero, that's, zero, zero is like a time stopper, I think. Double zero. Uh, 
Alex says his head can also be used to grab hooks and pull himself to other platforms. Oh, really? Kind of like I've been doing for the last, like, hour? Thanks. Thank you. Grab my head and pull on it. I think that's a pretty good idea, Mike. I'll just be down here. <laughs> oh, Jack. Love that Joker. Ah! I thought that, um, I beat this game before. I don't think I ever did. I'll tell you the truth. Because I would have, I think I would have remembered all this. I think I'm think of, thinking of a different Sega Genesis game. Something else that's like real weird and colorful like this on Genesis. I don't know what it was. Come on! Like, I hate these platforms. Alright, th this is this part here, I don't like this part coming up. I, I feel like I have no control over anything here. It's just like, it's just complete madness, and it's like... Right, like right there. Does that make any sense? It's telling me, it's saying down. In any other game, it'd be like, okay, jump down to the lower platform or push down on the D-pad or do something. Down thrust or ground pound down, anything. And I, I'm like doing everything I can to go down and then it just, nothing happens. I have no control over this. I don't get it. Like nothing's happening. I think that the, okay, here's what I think is happening. I think the cat is in control of this arm. And I think it, the, I think the arm just moves around completely randomly. I don't know what the arrows are about because I can't control anything. And I think when the arm sometimes sucks in closer to the cat ball thing, that's when I can hit the center thing. That's as best as I have figured this out. Arrow means safe area. Yeah, but I can't control it. So it's like, okay, what good does the arrow pointing down do me if I can't control it? Like, I'm pretty sure this cat is in control of this, like, arm thing, so... They're like, oh, safe is down there. Okay, cool. I can't do anything about it. Do you have HP or three hits? And the um, the spotlight is the health, man. Green is is like full health, and red is bad. If it's like orange, it's like in the middle. 
it's more fighting against the arm than controlling it. I, I guess. <laughs> Okay, see, and now he's pulling in close to this thing, and I'm trying to hit him if I can. Ugh. If I get- if I could get that bullet time thing. Give me that! It's like you can't get up there. I'm just gonna suck everything in right now to protect myself. Here, okay, now. Alright, now get rid of this. Alright, I'm hitting him. Come on, die! End this horrible part. Oh, I got the th I got the bullet thing, I think. Now go close to him. There. I do not like that part at all. Oh yeah, and then the B. Let's see B. What is B? Do you know somebody know already before I get it and it's B is B bad? <laughs> I'm gonna get the health thing, I know that. That's health. Oh, B is bonus game? Is it? Oh, is that how the basketball thing happens? Which, if I could ever do that, I'm not gonna do it. I don't like that basketball thing. Oh, B, I bet B is the basketball. I'm not doing it. I don't like it. The basketball is just to get the good ending. What do I like every time you do the bonus game? Oh, that was the Jack Nicholson thing. It's like, what the hell was that? Um, so you do the basketball thing, and if you keep doing that and you do well on it, you, you can get the good ending, I guess. I don't really care. I just want to make it further. Like, I don't care about good ending, bad ending right now. Stops, I can get him. Come on! Ooh! Because I hit him more earlier. Okay, I'm getting better at that part. <sighs> this is the nightmare. I know I know what all these things do though now, so I have a little bit of an advantage. Start by doing that. Get my health. This takes forever for this health thing to happen. I don't like how long it takes. That's the real health, I think, the heart in the middle. And you only get like a second to do that. Alright, now I know about, now I understand this alpha thing. Oh, I almost hit the wrong thing. Okay. 
guy. That was decent. Now it's the dress. Ah, good. Now I should be able to hit the heart. Okay. Now what? I don't think I've seen this next part now. Once it goes back to the dragon thing again. Oh no, yeah, I did see this. Great, great, good. Come on, yeah! Alright, see, now I know what I'm doing. Oh my god. Cat key. Cat, cat key. One of four secret bonus points. I don't know, man, about what the secret bonus points are. Who knows? Do, 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 do. So what stage even? I wish it said right there what stage. Was that stage three? Was that stage two? Like, I don't know. So I fought like the... Okay, and then here comes his girlfriend again, I guess. And she takes the key. Does he have to save her? Well, she's standing right there, and then she leaves, so I assume you don't have to save her. What is he trying to even do? He's trying to save the world from all these like, crazy robot things? Hit me. Ugh. Hit me again. Ugh. Um. Okay. Okay, you can jump down. Jump up. Up. Whoa. What? Okay, the stuff coming from the background doesn't actually hurt you. I'm trying to decide what I can jump on here and what I can't. Look at these background. Look at all. Look at this guy. There's your gaming tattoo. Get that dude bent over like that. Oh, and, th and then there's a bomb too. Okay, should I get it and see what it is? Is it bad? No, I want the. Uh, I want the hammer. I'm getting that. Uh-oh. What do I hit? The middle? Whoa. Dude, I don't know. Ugh. There, got him. Castle. Castle boss, mini castle mini boss. And I need help now. Whoa. What the hell just happened? If I drop down there, is that death? Oh, I should have jumped over. Now I can't get back up. Damn it. This is so weird. Let me make my staircase. Alright, I know the lips are bad. Now what? Whoa, and then we're back to this world. This is the trippiest game. Uh, can I 
grab. I can't grab it. Can I just jump up? Can I jump like that? No. Hold on. There's an extra life up there. What are these pink things? I can't jump. They're like in the background, I guess? How about this blue guy? How about these things? Oh, they're going... Hold on a second. They're going on there. There we go. They're getting... It's like a shish kebab. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna get my health back. You have to, like, wrap your head around this game's strange logic to be able to get anywhere. Oh, there we go. Scene 4-1. That's where I'm at. Alright, so if and when I die, at least we know where I made it to. I don't know if I'm getting through this game, but it's definitely interesting. Oh, so I do like that. Whoa. Oh, and then it's gonna fall. That's cool. What? Fall on him. Yeah! How do you like that? That was cool. Uh, what am I looking at? What? I don't even know what I'm looking at. <laughs> there you go. Load was huge. Or, right, Admiral, there will be whales here. Oh, no! I don't think that hurt me that much, actually. I'm just going for hammer wherever I can. Hit me. Boing. Uh, what happened, though? to push that out a little bit. Uh-oh. Okay, that's, I think that's health. I don't really get what's happening with those. Seemed like nothing was happening. Mad Max. Now he's more powerful, he could probably push it. There you go. Whoa. There you go. Aha! Yeah! Oh my god, that's nuts. Okay, alright. Is that a dunce cap? Ooh, oh! Okay, there are little platforms that happen. That's the miniature thing. I don't know if I need to be miniature right now. Oh no, if I get the hammer, I go back down there. Let's do that. Then we get those. Then I can come back up. Let's try the spike thing. Because I barely ever do it. It's like spike head. I just hurts enemies more, I guess. I don't know. There's not even any enemies around here to bother with. I want the hammer. Um, oh god. Ooh, extra life. Can I get him now? Yeah! So I'll do like that kind of thing. Well, look at this crazy background. Oh god, oh god, damn it. Wait, I have to have that hammer. Wait, 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 wait. 
can I hit that? No. How am I gonna do this? Oh, there it is. Okay. I just gotta go quick enough. It's a little puzzly. Okay, at least I hit that. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> Got it. Nice. Boom. What? I took health. I don't know if I needed it or not. Hold on, let me see what my chat's saying. Uh, let's, let me, I'm gonna pause this for a second. No wonder all, all the treasure games turn out so great because they are Konami games, basically, since treasure was made by former Konami employees. Yeah, it's like the, it's like those original Konami, like, employees, you know? It's like those are the people. It's really the people. It's like not even the company. It's like the people, you know? Interestingly, exactly after a year after the release of the game, Treasure made Alien Soldier and Hetty was their third game. Before that, there was Gunstar Heroes and McDonald's Treasure. Yes, we talked about that early in the beginning of the stream. Banana Heels 6? Oh, I see what you're saying. Or, like, that's how much the Banana Heels. So, I see. Mr. Kane, uh, Joe, or Joel, whatever it is, thank you very much for the tier one sub. You knew a stripper named Treasure once. <laughs> More importantly than any of this, talking about uh, Mischief Makers or Gunstar Heroes or any of that. That's, that's much more important. <laughs> this game only on Sega. That, there you go, that's true. Sega! There, and now I caught up with the chat. All right. Let's go into Vizzo. What the heck? I can just do this. You can just walk over it. Is that gonna move or? Oh, oh, come on. Oh, I just got hurt a bunch too. Cause of that. Unless I can find a banana or something, you gotta get me through there. Uh oh. A cool background through the windows. That's cool. SB. He's the window washer. Is this bad for me to do this? I'm doing it anyway. I don't care. I feel bad. He's so happy washing those windows. secret bonus point by doing that. Guess that was a good thing to do. Look at this little guy. Keymaster? But I'm the gatekeeper. Heather beat you to it, but now she's gone too. Oh, Heather is the girlfriend or whatever. Oh, that's the end of the stage? Okay. So there wasn't really like a boss. Okay. Well, that's good because I was like low on energy. He's yeah. Using his own head like a basketball. 
go heady go. Uh oh. This is a race. It's not letting me control it right now. This is automatic. Stair Wars. Oh no. Oh. Hey, you're ripping off Battletoads. They also did a thing like this in, what was that game, Sky Blazer? Remember that on Super Nintendo? What's that other game on NES? It's like a, it's like some castle thing, and it's this kind of deal too. One of these like towers, and you're like a frog or something. Or some green guy. Well, hey, they just like popped it up. Like, come on. Ah. What the hell? I wonder if I'm just supposed to make it to the top or if I'm actually, I'm supposed to be like fighting. G g jump on there. Oh. The way it's like pushing me around. Like when that part happens. Yeah, that. You gotta be like super careful. I guess I'm also supposed to be hitting him now, huh? If I can get close enough to him. Oh, I don't know. I can't like get close enough to this guy. He's so far over there. It has to end at a certain point, right? Like, oh, like that. Like when he does that, I could get him. Damn. It's like in the beginning, I was able to hit him more. Come here. Ah! Hate that! I don't know if this ends or if I have to hit the cat. To make it end. Come on, hit him. I need a different weapon or something. Ah! Dude, I hate when it drops. Oh my god. Great. Cool. Come on! And then he, like, he's like standing on top of me. Get down! It's like not doing what I want at all. It's like the directions of his head. I'm gonna run out of lives. All the way back in the beginning. I'm not playing through this whole game again. Are you kidding me? They need like a continuous system. No continues. Oh crap. Dude, this cat like doesn't It's 
stand, like, get, go in any place that is, like, a good place to hit him. And when he does finally come over... He's, like, standing on top of me. So, like, I get hit. Like... Like his head, like that, like that, like that. What the hell? Like, there's nowhere for me to stand. And then he just stands on top of me. It's just, it's just stupid. Dude, I don't know. Yeah, bye bye. Forget this. I keep telling you that you need to grab the T, t blocks that come out of bosses for continues. I don't even know what you're talking about. What T block? The cat comes close to you so you can hit him. Just focus on climbing until he does that. No, yeah, no. But when he com when he comes close, he's like st literally on top of me. There's nowhere like for me to be. <sighs> Continues happen when you collect those coins after a boss. What coins? When the bosses explode, they drop the T-blocks. Alright, I'm gonna have to look for these T-blocks, because I don't even know what you're talking about. Lightning bo x bolts. Thank you for the sub. When you beat a boss, they drop a bunch of things to collect. Okay, let's see about this. Because I need continues, if I'm gonna do this. I'm like really curious to see what these T block things look like that you're talking about. And you like that as something like not obvious at all. A T block means continue. How are you supposed to know? What is that? Treasure? Like it's like a treasure chest because it's a T block. So it's really good. So that's the continue. It's like I'm trying to get behind the logic of like what. what Most of this game is figuring out what all the, like, items are. I guess that's why you have to have the instruction manual. I don't like instruction manuals. Burn them all. <laughs> Get rid of them. I'm telling you, that is the one thing I like more about, like, more modern games. It's when you can, when you hit start and there's, like, options and then there's, like, a, there's, like, a guide and a key and then they tell you what all the stuff is in-game. I like that so much better. I don't want to. I don't. I don't like breaking out some book to play a game. I don't. I don't like it. I never did. I'd rather do it how I'm doing it. That. Right, that guy, that guy's dead. Oh, so wait, so that was a boss, right? Where's the T block? Uh, lightning X bolt. Thanks for the sub. Not all bosses have it. Okay. That doesn't count as a boss. Okay. The boss doesn't count as a boss. This game is melting my brain. Magical tea blocks. Alright, okay, well, we're gonna find one of these magical tea blocks. I wanna see it. What about points, by the way? Why am I collecting all these points then? 
Like this. Do I get to continue for that, too? If there's magical tea blocks for a continue. You know. Then why why bother collecting the points? Oh, come on. Or is it like points just for points? Points for the sake of points, kind of thing. Just points. I don't care about points. As I try to collect it anyway. I care about points if they give me a continue. Reward me. Look at this guy. He's got glowy... Secret bonus point. Because you could brag about your high score in Dynamite Heady. That's true. I have better things I could brag about. Like, um, Ninja Gaiden. Or something. I want to know if I can get up there and get to that little pig running around. Alright, let's see. Yeah, brag about your score on a Genesis game in 2024. I think that you're only cool if you do that. Dude, I think the best item is the hammer thing. Now I need this thing on my way. He's done. Boom. Alright, so like, so this stuff? Oh, th you're talking about these things. I got some of them. Did it get? A, did I get? A, did I get a continue? You need to get ten. How many did I get? Wait a second. Wait, wait. wait. I wish this was like. So let's say that right there. Let's say I got eight T blocks. On the next boss that gives out T blocks, can I get two more, and then that would be one continue? Or do you have to get them all on on the boss? Like, do they combine with the next boss? It adds up. Dimitri says it adds up. Okay. Uh, K-Train, thank you very much for the sub. K-Train, 39. Appreciate that. 41 months. There's a lot to know with this game. There really is. I didn't, I didn't expect that going into this at all. so weird you know it also like slightly reminds me of toe jam and earl like the weird the weirdness of it genesis is a crazy system
want this. Yum yum. There we go. That was the first time I felt like I did that part decently. Oh, this I still hate this part though. I could do without this little section. At least it's short. Oh, are you so oh, wait a second. Are you not just supposed to hold? You're supposed to tap on that? Wait a second. I think you're supposed to tap. Go closer to the body part. Oh, I got a secret bonus, really? I wonder for what. Hit it! I think the speed thing actually makes the head shoot out further. So I mean that it's not just speed, I think it makes the like head length more. Here, I need to get this. Yeah, and I, I, Lark, I heard about the Vampire Survivors con Contra thing, so we'll see eventually. Maybe I'll mess with that, I don't know. Depends what it's like. They had, like, other DLC, too. I, I never, I didn't do it. Vampire Survivors is fun, though. So now I know on this part I gotta hit this, like, bottom guy more. End, end them, end them, end, 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 yes! Alright, pretty good. Oh god, this. Ugh, I forgot this existed. <laughs> Ugh, at least I know what to do. Alright, start. 
start with that, get my health back. It's like the robot part, right? I need, um... That! Oh! Either one! Come on! That, I mean, that was like the worst one I could hit. No, I'm dead, right? Yeah. God, I want I was trying to hit the... Disease. One is it to start? Is it even telling me? Oh, it's, it was the foot. So they changed this up. Come on. All right. Now it's the body. Now it's the foot. Now it's the hand. Now it's the head. Okay, I got a bunch of hits in that time. That was a good, like, first part. Whew. That, that, come on! What? Oh, because they changed it. It's like randomness. All right, I didn't, like, realize that about this game. Ugh. If I could get that health right now, man, I wish that thing would come out. I got it! Come on. Alright, I, I should be good. Now, which part is it? Okay, it's that one. Good. The foot, the foot. And the other foot. What now? The head? The hand? Good. The other, the head, the hand, the hand. Come on. Now it's gonna be the body. Yes! Jeez. Oh! I don't know. Maybe now I gotta continue? I don't know. I, I keep forgetting about the treasure that comes out. <sighs> it helps to do jump in to get more of those, yeah. I gotta like remember beforehand that those are all coming out because if I was like on his body jumping in the beginning, I always forget. I'm like so excited that I beat the boss that I forget that that's gonna happen. What is going on in the game? Yeah, I don't know, man. This is weird. You're con you're convinced they were on shrooms in the '80s and '90s doing this? Yeah, yeah, with like Mario and the pipes and all that. It's like, it's like what even was going on? I mean, probably right. How else do you explain all this? <laughs> Crap. 
creativity. Yeah, creativity. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, this whole part. I like this. This stage I like. This makes sense. Like this, this is a part of the game that this, like, all this makes perfect sense to me. It's not like weird. I get like this is just like a normal part. I feel like there. It's like I totally understand all of that. Like gameplay-wise, I mean. Okay, yeah, I didn't get this last time. That part. So now I get this. You can like jump on these. <sighs> or, or, or do I get it? There. Oh no, I gotta do this first. You pull those down and then you do that. Getting into like... How are you supposed to get in there? And then the extra life that I never got before. Oh. Okay, I know how to get that. I gotta remember to go back. See, now I understand this. So you can do this. And then if I get up there. Here. I don't remember if I got this last time. I, I don't think I did this before. Because you gotta remember to go back. Oh. Yes! Alright, there we go. I'm taking the health. Wait, did I get it? Oh, I was full already, wasn't I? Yeah. Huh? Maybe not. Well, now I will be. I wish that was a little faster. Oh, yeah, this. I like, I think this part's neat, too. Crap. I want that, hold on, I want the, the normal head. There we go. Yeah, done. I like that, a little part, that's cool. Okay, the water comes up. Um. Okay. Do I go back? I'm like almost always just taking the. Oh yeah, this whole thing. In this area, I don't know what that does. Oh no! Can I wait? I can maybe do this. If it even matters. Kind of. I don't think it matters. To get that five. Oh, and the life. I don't really need it though. I'm alright. I could probably do like this isn't worth it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother. No! Damn it! I just slept. Die! What? Oh, it has to be the backside. Okay. Mad Max, I don't even remember. Oh yeah. Uh there's all these different ways to go, too. Like, what if I go under this? Oh, no, I would have to be... Hold on. Here we go. I didn't do this before. I'm just gonna run out. 
at some point. Oh god, go. It's like kind of like a quicker way to get over here. There we go. Good, good, good. Oh yeah, and then I gotta get that life. This is a fun game. There's a couple, there's a few areas I really dislike, but I think this is pretty fun, actually. The more I'm playing it, and the more I'm understanding it, because you got to understand its weirdness, <laughs> the more I'm enjoying it. And you got to know what all the items are and everything. God, it's come on. Here, hold on. No, not the invisible. I don't know why I'm even bothering the points. We've already determined that. It doesn't. I don't care about that. I'm doing. I've been doing it anyway. Hey, we're getting the health back. Yay! Now Mike is playing the game. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. I got, you know, I was le learning it. Now I feel like I'm. I'm playing it. Like I, I agree with you. I mean, that's the way a lot of games are. You know, you gotta like learn what you're doing. Especially this one. Uh, you know what? I remember you could just like kind of walk. Uh, I'm I'm like always just taking the hammer at this. Yeah, just go. Just take the hammer and go. Oh, I gotta get. I can get the extra dude here. I'll I'll do that. So when it when you get a bonus, what is the bonus? Like you know, I'm gonna sit here and do this. What am I getting for it? Points? Because it's just points. Like I don't care. Yeah, yeah, that. The voice is very clear. It's a secret. Yeah, I guess so, huh? You have no idea what's going on, but it's pretty to look at. I don't really know what's going on exactly either. The more I'm playing it, the more I'm kind of learning, but it's like, it's super weird. I know that I'm missing a lot of secrets all the time. Thoughts on the announcement of the new live-action TMNT R-rated film to go in production? I don't know anything about it. Is it official? Is it like a licensed? Like is it a real TMNT? Th oh, this is where I couldn't get past before. So like, okay, hold on. So, first of all, this is automatic. We'll get back to the TMNT thing. I don't know, I don't know anything about it. So, okay. Like I was saying before, so this is kind of like the like the last stage in Battletoads, right? But here's the problem I'm having is that I so I have to hit the cat. I th believe I don't think. Okay, I still don't know if I just keep jumping on the things and then eventually it ends, or if I have to hit the cat. I'm assuming because you can hit the cat that you have to hit the cat until he's dead, and then this part will end probably. My problem that I'm having is that when the cat gets close to me, he's like literally just like he's like on top of me, and the, and then the, the whole thing's like moving around, you know. So it's just like it's almost like it's, he's not spawning on me, but he's like he basically he moves exactly like on me, and it's like I'm getting stuck here because I don't really know what to do. Real R-rated TMNT. Oh, oh, I mean, if it, uh, um, like, good. I mean, the original comics were, so, um, you know, because it was originally, like, a comic. I've always been more interested in animated turtles or, like, 
you know, uh, more so than like a live action thing. But that said, I absolutely love the. Um, if I was gonna have like a TMNT movie that I w felt like was like the perfect TMNT movie, it would probably have to be animated. But I probably would want like a traditionally animated, you know, like a really, really well, like traditionally animated kind of thing um, is what I would want. Um, but also I would want that to probably be, I, w I would want an R-rated traditionally animated turtle movie. Uh, that said, I love the first TMNT movie, um, you know, and those effects and everything. I think that's one of the best. Um, if you consider, consider the Turtles superheroes, I think it's best, one of the best superhero movies, like, ever. Uh, so, that movie is so well done that it convinces me, like, that it should be live action because it's so well done. Uh, but I always think of Turtles as, like, okay, it was the comic first, and then it was, like, you know, it was popularized with the, you know, the 80s cartoon. So, to me, and I loved that first, the 80s cartoon. So, to me, the Turtles is, like, an animated or comic thing. Uh, and that's why I always, I wish we could get that, like, the perfect, like, traditionally, an I want a traditionally animated Turtle movie that's not just, like, stupid kid stuff like there obviously it's turtles so there should be like humor in it obviously but uh it should also be like you know be like r-rated with humor turtles that's what i would like really really want and that's what i wanted for a lot of that stuff it's like they talk about masters of the universe i w i would want like a more a little bit more of like a um basically the way that that 2002 series was done if you want to do like a serious take on he-man um if you're gonna you know if we're gonna talk about like that it's like like really truly though like i like he-man to be a little goofy too because it like it was so it's like that filmation cartoon like that's really the like actual he-man i'm gonna like get on like a long ass subject about this you can't like start these kind of topics with me because i'm just gonna go on all day i need to we need to talk about this Hold on. <laughs> oh, the 1980s. I like the Masters of the Universe. I saw that in the theater. Um, I don't... I like, I like the Filmation cartoon. Masters of the Universe deserves a good movie. It does. And I think they, I think it should be animated, personally not like a live action because it's just gonna it's so easy to make it bad if it's like live action you know and then it's like so there's gonna be a group of people that aren't gonna like whoever the actor is you know it's like th that the actor has to appeal to like everybody so it's like if it's animated then it's like easier to make it appeal to everybody anyway i want to talk about this though when the cat flies near you hit him once and then jump away oh like don't yeah, okay, I should try to get one hit and move. That's a good idea. Maybe that's my problem. That's a good tactic. I'll see if I can do it. Okay, we yeah, one and move. Stick and move, Mac. Actually, it seemed like I couldn't even hit him more than once anyway. And then I'm out. I think you can only hit him once. Look, see? Oh! That was the problem. I think you can only hit him once. And then, like, it's not just, like, a tactic. Like, I thought what you meant was, like, hit him once and then get out to be safe. It's not even like that. It's, like, literally, you can only hit him one time. And then he goes back. And then, so, okay. That's where my confusion confusion really was. I I was trying to because I kept I would hit him the one time and then I kept trying to hit him and then he'd be like on top of me and killing me and stuff because I kept trying to hit him. I didn't know it was like one hit get out one hit get out. All right, that that actually super helps. Thank you. Oh, it's 
the heart. The other thing about it is I kept, b before, I kept, like, running over to the side of, like, this tower trying to hit the cat, but, like, I was getting frustrated because his head doesn't, like, go far enough out to hit the cat. You have to wait for him to come to the middle. So you, so, all right, so, like, I'm understanding it more now. Like, you, ha he has to come to you. And there, it's not like there's a time limit, so it's like, it's fine. Say, like, yeah. Oh, come on. Well, that was better, though. Damn. It's still, now, even when I'm knowing kind of what I'm doing, it's still difficult. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, you can't hit him more than once. Confirm that now. Just takes forever. Stay away. Come to the middle. Come on, Mr. Cat, let's go. <sighs> that crap. He still does this where he like lands on top of you. And there's like nothing nowhere you can go. Great. Come on, stupid cat. It takes like forever to like come over to the middle sometimes. Unless there's some way like I'm supposed to activate him like coming over like I don't know. something like I do to get him to like, get, like come to the middle. Or, I guess it's just it's probably random because like a lot of this has been random. Maybe he'll only come over if I'm below that line. What if I like stay down here? I think that's it. I have to be like below the line and then he'll come down. So let's like kind of stay down here. Does he come over? He didn't. Oh, fuck. He didn't come over. W where do I go now? Look at that! Did you see that? There was no like extra staircase thing. And I can't. 
Dude, what the hell? Oh, he tried to be above him? Because um, he, he won't come to the middle. Oh no, Stair Wars, one of the worst stages you can't stand. Oh, okay, so I'm not the only one then. L Big Nut, thanks for the sub. The more Genesis games Mike beat, beats, the closer he'll be to being forced to play James Pond. Um, I understand what you're saying, because it's like, then there'll be like another Genesis game and another Genesis game. Um, I'm not, it's like, let's say, take like NES games, for example. It's like, I'm, I have no intention of like beating all of the NES games. You know, if there's, you know. Anyway, I'm trying to figure this part out. If anybody has any advice on this stupid stage. One guy was saying, always stay all the way up top. Maybe I, I just have to be really, really patient. And just wait for the cat to come over. That's gonna be my tactic this time. I'm just gonna be as patient as humanly possible with this. Cause I'm trying. I was trying to like find some way to get the cat to come over to me, and he just doesn't come over. Crap! See what I mean? He's like not coming over here. gonna end on the stage again. Why doesn't he come over to me? He, he has not come over to me one time. Well, finally, now, now I said that he did. Once. He came one time over to me. Say if anybody's saying it has any advice on this. Very hard game. What this? Just wait for the right moment for the enemy approaching before you attack. At least, yeah. But what I'm saying is he doesn't come over to me to attack him. Now he does. Only when I look over to read the chat does he do it. Now, here, now he's coming over. Here. Finally, he's starting to move over to me more. Hit him. That was good. So annoying. Come over to me, Mr. Cat. Oh. Oh no. Oh my god. Okay, I got a secret bonus. Great. No! Maybe that was an extra... I mean, maybe I have a continue now, though. That'd be nice. Dude, this stage sucks. What the hell? There's some, there's some kind of piece of information that I do not understand about this. There's no way this should go on so long. But finally, here he is. You stupid cat! That was me. I missed. I messed that up now. And then there's and then there's human error too. <sighs> Come over here. Come over here. Good. Good. You think that's enough hits now? Are we good? And my the red light has to be flashing too, right? Of course. 
Come over here. Come over here. Get over here! I'm sure there's got to be like somebody who speed runs this game, right? And they they have to have a method to like do this cat part. Like, what do what does a speedrunner do like on this part to make this not take so long? It's, just, it's like broken. I don't know. He never comes over to me. Try to stay on the upper platforms as awesome, often as possible. That's what I'm doing. Then he simply won't reach you. That's great, but he doesn't come over to me. That's not the problem. You have to jump and shoot every time. He moves over when he closes his eyes. How do you make him close his eyes, though? Maybe try ducking, okay? Uh, I mean, all of a sudden he darted over to me. many hits this takes. I wonder how many I've gotten at the most. What about six or seven hits I've probably done? You like that I'm losing all my lives on this stupid part again? I'm so annoyed with this. And then they're gonna be like, Try staying to the top, and it looked like what I've been doing the entire time, and not listening to what I'm saying about that the cat doesn't come over to me. Go to the top, though. He can't hit you at the top, Mike. Sure. But he doesn't come over to me, though. He finally did one time. Alright, so that's two. Twice. That's it. Let me see. I don't want to see if anybody has said anything else. I just watched a video, and unfortunately, you were doing it correct. Are you serious? You have to painstakingly stay at the top and hit him one at a time. Oh, my God. Really? So it, that's like the worst. The worst news I could have heard is that I'm doing it right. <laughs> because it takes forever. That. Oh, my God. This is really? This part goes on really long. Yeah. Oh my god. No way. Because the whole time... The whole time I'm sitting here doing this, I'm thinking to myself, well, I, I have to be doing something wrong. It has to be me. And then they're like, actually, we looked, and you're doing it right. <laughs> That's not good. That's not what I wanted to hear. I wanted to hear I was doing something wrong, and then we figured out how to get make this happen quicker than this. You stupid cat. I don't even know how I fell off there. It'd be great if they'd give me a, uh, a thing of health, too. That'll, that'll probably never happen on this part.
Secret bonus point. Great. Which I don't know what it does. Get away from me. So how many times was that now? Like five or six? Please get me through this. Okay. Anybody counting? I've, I've done a lot. This is probably the furthest I've done so far. No way. How many hits was that? Like ten? Seven? That's it? It felt like a million. Oh my god. Dude, that sucked. Oh my god, look at this now. Dude, this is very much, this is very like Battletoads. Yo, this is like a, I'm sorry, but this, because like, Battletoads was first, right? This is a Battletoad stage ripoff, kind of. Like, this is this is what the last stage is like. Like, totally. They totally looked at Battletoads and were like, let's do that. Whoa. Do I gotta hit these? Like, yeah, I guess so. This is cool. <laughs> That's one ball. That's one blue ball. Whoa, whoa! Oh! Uh, probably underneath of them? I don't know. Oh, oh no! Come on, I got, I should have a continue, shouldn't I? Dude, I got continues. What what about this T square thing? Where are my continues? I thought I got continues. I'm upset. Press left to continue. What? You forget how you use them. <sighs> I'm so upset. So how far was that? You have to get three-fourths of the T-blocks block, from the boss. So, so they don't... Say so somebody earlier was saying that they combine, but I don't think they do combine. I will say this game does cool things with perspective. It definitely does. There are 15 levels. Okay, how far how far was I just now? Was I on like seven or something? Do you want the stage select code? No. I will never use a stage select code. Unless it was like just a okay, so let's talk about stage select codes. 
Um, like, I would use a stage select code just to go to a stage to, like, look at it and be like, okay, that's cool, or whatever. Like, just to check something out. But, like, as far as, like, going through and, like, trying to beat a game, I would never, like... Because, like, what did I just make it to? Like, stage 8 or something? Like, I don't know what, what I made it to. If I just did a stage select code to the level I was just on, like, that would t completely defeat the purpose for me. I, I have to beat the game from beginning to end. Or it doesn't count. Otherwise, I might as well not play. If I play from stage 8 to 15 or whatever it is, then it's like half a playthrough, and then it doesn't count, and then it was pointless. It would make no no point to doing that. I will never use a stage select code, ever. The only time I've seen you use a stage select code was like six years ago during Mickey Mania, and you wanted to, and you just wanted to see what a certain stage looked like, and you don't remember anything else. Yeah, because I don't believe in it. That would be like, if somebody was like, hey, Mike, you should see, let's, okay, so let's say, like, there was, like, some really, like, crazy game or whatever, and they were, and somebody was like, uh, and I made it, let's say there was eight stages, and I made, I, the best I could do was make it to stage four, right? And, the, and somebody was like, yo, there's this really cool thing on stage seven that would be neat to see. I would use a stage select code to get to it to look, just to look at it and be like, oh, yeah, that thing's cool. But as far as, like, actually, like, playing the game, like, no. I have to go from beginning to end, or th there's no point. I just, I don't believe in it. Anyway. What if you practice the stage, the level you're on, so you can do the stage select? Um, well, I made it past that cat stage. And I did it by going through the whole game, and we got, and I just beat it, and I got past that stage I was having a hard time with. So, no, you're saying just to practice. I don't like to do that. I want to. I would want to go through the game again, and also I feel like it helps me get better at the earlier stages too, because then I learn the earlier stages better. The more you play the stages, like the more little little details you'll learn. So it's like, just because I beat stage one before or stage two before doesn't mean I beat them well. And every time I beat stage two again and again and again, I learn the extra little details. And I'm like, oh, I can do this a little better than last time. You know, if I just, if I'm skipping past stage two every time, I'm not learning anything. This is why I want to, I want to make the run better. Now, I'm not looking to speed run the game, but I'd like to have like a, cleaner playthrough of the game so that you watch it and be like oh yeah that was a pretty good like run of the game you know I, that's all i like i'm looking for as, as when i play these games like i like a pretty like nice like run of the game it doesn't have to be like this like speed run territory where it's like just crazy perfect because it's like i'm not gonna just like play one game over and over for my whole like life you know i'm not like into that but um but i you know i'd like a run to be like pretty okay you know so i just i don't believe in stage select for the most part anyway i'm gonna take a break for a minute and we'll come back and i'll try this again i do i do like this game um except for a couple parts like the only part i can legit say i don't like is that is like that that green arm part with the with the ball and the cat like i don't like that part but uh koala just gifted out a bunch of subs to the community let me uh go through these real quick so uh koala thank you very much for gifting out subs to uh yokai lance divine uh burglar own stream i do like those games that guy with uh base tazo gear 82 kenny lauderdale sev 2880 civil dawn gamer guys and gals uh attack uh late night vision reptile hand hitman 109 sparky fluffles uh, there's so many. You're 62, 2000, no name calling. Uh, Claudio, Astra, Supermage, fictional user, 
Rhyme Dory, uh, Funky, One Paper Monkey, Iron Monkey. <laughs> oh, everybody's like a monkey today. Felix, a Vile Ox, Darkwing 602, Euphism for Wonder, Water Powered Car, X Track Ball, like a trackball controller, Turtle 1002, KV Cafe, Irish 2, Hoffman, Rock Ostrich, Freaked, and Sir 139. If you guys got a gift sub from Koala, let them know you appreciate it. Thank you once again, Koala, for gifting those out. And those are all people that uh, won't have to look at ads, which is always nice on Twitch because you log into Twitch and you start watching. And you're like, oh, i got to wait through all these ads. So they won't have to do that for the next 30 days. Thank you very much once again, Koala, and thank you for the subs. Uh, I'm going to take a break, and then we will try this game again. So I will be back in a few minutes. Today we're playing Dynamite Heady on the... I almost said Super Nintendo, on the Sega Genesis designed by Treasure, who had made uh, Gunstar Heroes and McDonald Land, Treasure Land Adventure, which I did a review of many, many years ago. Um, Light Crusader, which I streamed. I, one day I want to come back to Light Crusader. Alien Soldier, Mischief Makers, mo and most importantly, Sylphie of the Lost Planet on PS2. <laughs> which, I, bl I think they made that one. Uh, I love that game. That's a great uh, shooter if you haven't played it before. But uh, okay, so this is Dynamite Heady. I think I made it to stage, I don't know, I keep forgetting five or something. So we're gonna give this another go and see how it we see how it goes. Do the basketball game for extra lives. Ugh, I guess. I guess. Do, 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 do. He looks like a Muppet or something. Six baskets per life. Okay, I guess I better do it. We got our Sonic the Hedgehog-esque opening. very well, but I did. Uh, one day I'd like to restream that game. So I probably will at some point. I've been playing a lot of Sega Genesis games lately. Oh, I didn't blow it up that time. What do I lose out on? Oh, I bet you that's one of those secret bonus point things. For points, probably. Bump, 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 bump. Bump, bump, ba da ba bump. Whoa, I was reading the chat. Don't forget to grab the tees. Oh yeah. Yes. Well, that the cat doesn't have it. You can hear it now, right? Get hyper diatrine. Hopefully. You really wanted to like this game, but the fifth level or so, it gets too damn hard.
Well, that tower. That tower is like horrible. But I'm, I'm learning it each time I get a little more knowledge on it. There's, I know there's more stages later, we'll see. If I get there. Boom, boom. I don't know, I took the health. I, again, I feel like I wish this didn't take so long. I would have that be like instantaneous. I would also have him walk faster when he's small. That's another thing I would do. Worst of it is the auto scroll ta auto scroll tower level. I would imagine. You don't need to take the sleep when you have like green, medium, like you have now. Risky. Why is that risky? If it let's let's say it was like orange-ish, it's like medium, um, why would I not want to refill it to green? Does it not come back for longer? Or something? By the way, I know that it's gonna be the tease here. Alright. It's like, I wish they would count them up. I don't know how many I got. Was that Gumby and Pokey in the cage? It, I swear to God, it reminded me of him. Witch Knight's dancing around with the dinosaurs. Yes. Two out of eight secret points. I, I still no. I still don't know what they're for. I don't know. Nobody said, or maybe they did, but I missed it. What the secret point, the uh, secrets, bonuses or whatever are for. If it's still, if it's just about points, I don't care. If I get, like, I'll I'll focus more on those secret bonuses. If I get continues or something. Otherwise, what the hell do I care?
bum, 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 bum. It unlocks a hidden final boss. Really? That's cool. T's don't stack, need 10. Do you like how earlier somebody told me that they do stack? This is what happens. Watch for signs in the background every stage. For what? Oh, I hate this stage. This is the one I don't like. Stupid. How are you? What do you like? Wh why do people do that? What do you want me to say to that? I'm sitting here playing a Sega Genesis game and I'm like frustrated with like that last stage. I like the game. It's fun. I don't know. Hi, I'm great. Everything's great. Like, what do you, what do you want? <laughs> How are you today? I'm good. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you're good. I'm good too. Uh, how are you? I'm good. Oh, are you good? I'm good. Good. Like, are you happy? <laughs> Say you're fine. Fine. I'm fine. Is that great? Is was that was that a good conversation? How are you? Fine. I'm fine too. Good. That's good. Good. Like that radio wave is that too rough for you well it's just stupid it's just like the most pointless like waste of time question anybody can ask anybody how are you i'm fine you know oh that's good i'm glad you're fine i'm fine too
That was the best I did on that. Hey Mike, what's your favorite insert random object? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Hey Mike, what what's your favorite cereal? Hey Mike, what's your favorite Batman movie? Who would hey Mike, who was your favorite Joker? Hey Mike, what's your favorite NES game? Hey Mike, what's your least favorite NES game? Hey Mike, what's your favorite color? Hey Mike. Hey, hey Mike. Hey Mike. Hey Mike. Hey Mike. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite cheese? <laughs> What's your favorite ba type of bathroom tile? <laughs> I like marble. Hit his head! <laughs> Saw that coming a mile away. Cause I didn't get the help. <sighs> Hey Mike, are you starting to understand your audience's average IQ? We all are. That's the best. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, 4K, I agree with you. <laughs> hey Mike, do you use bubble bath? All I do is use bubble bath. When I'm not on stream, I'm, you can just, I'm in a bubble bath. With Ernie, we just we just take bubble baths. It's great. Oh, what game, Stone Fred? Hold on a second. I'll write that down. For arcade, huh? I'll, I'll look that up. I don't know about that. That's cool. How many people do you meet behind Barnes and Nobles per week? Uh, only usually maybe just like one because I like you gotta switch locations. Like some days it's behind like a an abandoned Toys R Us, an old Sears, you know. It's you gotta switch up the places. So yeah, not often. Probably one, one or less. <laughs> it's the yeah, Seven Eleven could be Seven Eleven sometimes. He does make sense. Yeah. <laughs> I got a bunch of, oh, that was really good. I got a bunch of hits. That was really good. So you got like the pinky toe is like the pinky finger, right? And the big toe is what, like your thumb, kind of? The middle finger, that's like the middle toe. And then you got the, like, the second toe is, like, you know, your pointer finger, right? So you got your, like, pointer toe. And then you got your ring, you got your ring finger toe, right? So the one next to the pinky. I'm going to say the one next, I'm going to say, like, the ring finger toe. <laughs> Big toe easy. Big toe is the captain of the toes. <laughs> captain of the toes. <laughs> Yo, Nintendo ripped that off. That Captain Toad game. 
bunch of rip-offs. What do you think about that, Nintendo ripping you off like that? I think they owe you money. The effects are very cool. These background effects. Oh yeah, it is. I just want all the stages to be like this part, <laughs> you know, just like the normal stuff. To be honest with you. So did that basketball part come? Like, I didn't even see it if, I, if, if, if it happened already. It probably did, and I missed it. I don't know. I would have done it. I just didn't even see it. Do that. Drew, uh, thank you very much for the sub. Sega for the win. Yeah, man. We just looked up Dynamite Heady for Game Gear gameplay. Oh my god, no, not a good port. You know, I grew up, I I had Game Gear growing up, and like, I have a, like a soft spot for Game Gear, but there's a lot of bad Game Gear games. But then again, it's like there's a lot of bad NES games. There's a lot of bad games for like everything, right? But there's some really cool, I re honestly, like I really, really like those Donald Duck Game Gear games. Those are awesome. But, and that Shinobi game's real cool too. Hey Mike, how are you now? I'm great. I'm having a great day. How are you? See, it just depends uh, what part of my like bipolar I'm in. So ask me, ask me again in 30 minutes, and I'll be like screaming at you. I just searched for Dynamite Heady, and a video game did not show up. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mike, you better have some hard liquor, dude. I might need some with this game. Hey, Mike, are you actually bipolar? That's one of about 400 things I am. <laughs> I think the Game Gear games trying to be Genesis games suffered. Yeah. Might want to turn down the contrast on your TV. Oh my god, dude, it's so vibrant. I'm just like, I have this screen on right now. It's so vibrant. It's unbelievable. How's it look on there? Actually, it, it looks very vibrant on the um, capture, too. Either way. It's always more vibrant on the CRT than in the capture, because it's got, like, I don't know, it's like the glow coming out of the TV. But it's, um, this is a very vibrant game. I don't, it's, it's weird. I think the color palette is, like, well done. But it's almost, it could, this could, like, easily be, like, super duper ugly, you know? And it's like that, um, what's that game, uh, oh, God, I'm not gonna be able to think of the name of it. Um, 
Jim Power. Jim Power has like a million different colors too, but it's like so ugly. Where this game, I think, I, I mean, they had treasure doing it. This game is just very vibrantly colorful. I feel like this is as extreme as you can go with like vibrant colors like this without it being like an ugly game to look at but it's like it's like almost i feel like it's almost teetering on that like it's it's like it's like almost to where it could be ugly but it's not you know i'm gonna get it by the way because i didn't even say anything but say anything wow. on the verge yeah it's because the background is kind of muted compared to the foreground. Yeah, I don't know, but. Oh, come on, that was like. So that purple thing right there, what is it? It's some kind of purple thing squatting. And is that like, I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what I'm looking at. It was some kind of statue or something. Oh, you know what? Wait, wait, wait. We're into this. This gets you through this stage, like, way quicker. Way quicker. Logic Master 386, thank you for the sub. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Mm. Yeah, I have to do. Ugh, come on. What the hell? There. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna get the extra end boss anyway, because I, I like missed tons of these earlier, right? So like this is pointless. Right?
becomes hard to count because it takes so long to wait that I end up in a conversation about something. And then I forget where my count is at. Here, three. And then it'll be 25 minutes until the cat comes over again. Mr. Cat, and then dead. Was that five? And see how he just like runs over? Because he knew I was out of health, probably. one more. Supposedly. Forget this game. <laughs> like, right? <sighs> I just like gave out there for a second. I'm just like, whatever. Two. This is 
stupid. Four. They don't want me quitting, so they're speeding this cat up. They're like, no, the torture has to continue. Let's speed the cat up to keep him in the game. This is my part of my ongoing theory that these games are sentient. Let's see. Is that, is that five? Two. You should be able to hit him multiple times. You have to like wait like ten minutes for the goddamn thing to. I'm so, I'm so angry. I'm so angry. I'm so I'm so angry at this game. He does rush when he squints, but I noticed sometimes he squints and doesn't. What? You, he rushes out when he squints, but he do, he sometimes does and sometimes doesn't. <laughs> Great! That's really helpful. Sometimes he squints. He kind of does this thing with his eyes. Like he, sometimes he does do it, but sometimes he doesn't squint when he rushes out. But he does. He does do it, so that's like the tell. But he doesn't do it, though. But he does, though. So make So watch out for that. That's like eight hits or something now, isn't it? Like. What? How many hits is this now? Somebody said last hit and I got him again and it didn't die. Look at this! Finally! Nine hits, they said. It was nine hits. Alright, this is where I made it to before, I think. Now it ate up all my lives on me, because it's stupid cat!
Uh. Uh. Oh, what happened there? God! God! Makes no difference. Yeah, how many times have you played it, uh, 4K, and, and did you have it? I didn't own it. takes two hits, I think. It took you a full day of practicing to be that day. That's it. No treasure stuff for him. So, if I... I'll use this head more to see if I can grab the whatever, the treasure, the tea, and continue things. Hopefully that'll get me more. And if I can get through this um, stupid cat tower part, like the first try instead of the fifth try. If I ever, and I, yeah, like, you know, if I ever get to continue. These things are like so hard to grab. Maybe if they would have included a run in this game, that'd be nice. There's no run. And most of these heads are like worth it. All you, all you ever want is to have the hammer head pretty much like these other stupid heads are like like that one like the lips or whatever oh the lips are the vacuum oh that's right suck it up hold on I want that no no Yes. I gotta wait. There's so much waiting in this game. I don't want to wait for anything. Oh, I finally got that. It doesn't matter at all. It's the quickest I ever did that. Jump. 
Jack O' Lantern, thank you for the sub. You must be like me when you go out to eat, you don't want to wait 45 minutes for a table. Well, if you go in the place and there's a bunch of people in the waiting thing, then you just walk out and go somewhere else. I'm not, yeah, but yeah, no, I'm not waiting. A couple minutes, maybe, that's it. We make a reservation. That's why there's reservations. Make a reservation. That's it. It, it doesn't. It doesn't even get that far to be like to where you like usually where you walk in and like look, have to look around. Oh, there's a lot of people. You, you drive by the place and be like, oh, that parking lot is f too full. I'm not going there. That's how that goes. Too many cars not going there. The head does help. Try. It said something. You got another try, I think it said. I did it. So you have to use the head. I wasn't doing that. I was just jumping around. All right. Now I actually got another continue, supposedly. You know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna, I'll, I'll end up dying on that same stage or whatever, and then the continue is gonna happen or you know be like oh i can continue now i think I, I it said i gotta continue you get another try and then it'll it's gonna turn out oh you have to know some secret code to put enter it yeah you got the continue but you didn't know that you have to hit it up down up b a a c up start a c c start left right in a third in a certain uh two second time window on a certain screen. Didn't you know that? Duh. Duh. That's what these games are like. Didn't you know you have to do that? What are you, stupid? Everybody knows that. I actually hate this part more than I hate the tower.
I feel like this part is what parents think video games are. That's how I feel right now on this, on just on this section. It's just like mindless nonsense, you know? That's what I feel like that part is, is mindless nonsense. It, you, you can't control it. <laughs> You know, it's like thinking of your like, great-great-grandmother playing a video game. She's just like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at here, you know? That's what I feel like on that part. It's like, I don't know, I can't control it. I don't know. It's just, things are flying on the screen. I, don't know. I just don't know. What's happening? I've never felt so, like, hopeless and, like... for me. Good. What, do you, what is this character? Like, what am I even looking at? Like, what is his head? His head's like a peanut or something? A peanut with a feather coming out? <laughs> what is this? He's a puppet. I don't care. He looks like a peanut. He looks like a yellow peanut with a feather coming out of his head. Well, that's not what it is. It's a puppet, okay? It's a pup. I told you it was a puppet, okay? Why don't you listen to me? I said it was a puppet in the first place, Mike. How do I think Darth Vader smells in the costume? Yes! Do that again. Like sweat. Smells like sweat. Alright, um, like sweat, like evil, evil sweat, evil sweat. Vader can use the force to clean himself. Yeah, that's true. Why don't they ever do that in a Star Wars movie? Like uh, Luke Skywalker is running down the street, or Obi Wan. Obi Obi Wan Kenobi's running down the street, and he and he's got he's got like you know Jim like Jim sweats on, and he's like sweating. He's sweating in that robe, and then he's just like he do, he does like some power, and like all the sweat beads come off of him. You watch the. <laughs> You just watch the sweat come off of his body. That's it. Why don't they do that? How come Disney didn't think of that for their little script? For their little Last Jedi? The donkeys running around. Space donkeys. I bet they're, they're pretty sweaty.
That part's very perudious. Whatever, I missed it. Bottom first. Bam! First time. Hey, hey! I feel like, like I pretty much got everything until, like, whoa. Until I don't. <laughs> I've got it until I don't got it. I got it until I don't got it. No, my, no, I mean, guys. I did, I did. I'm just gonna go because I'm not gonna get the extra special boss, so it's just a waste of time. You got it down, Mike. I still keep missing where that basketball thing is. I did it like once or twice and I, I don't remember. After this, the game gets really hard. But yeah, this part coming up right here, the stupid cat tower. You mean this? <laughs> Star Wars, but it is Star Wars! Nothing but Star Wars! Written by Paul Schaefer, I believe. Believe it or not. My cat. Stupid cat. Come on, I want this first time. First time, cat. Come on. No messing this up. 
First time we want this. First time. So far, so good. Okay, I, I got him now. Ugh. Um, what was it, nine hits? Ugh. Like, way too many. That was the first time, right? That's the first time I beat that. The first Look at that those little fa happy faces in the background in that blimp thing. That's hilarious. Come on, end! Why does this take so long to end? Do I have to oh maybe I have to like oh I have to jump up. My bad. Oops, it's my fault. Me dumb. Better. Better, better. <sighs> Ugh. What? So am I just going up here or like Uh I got fights. This oh yeah, this thing. I never this is the furthest. Like, what? 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 I don't know what to do. Always another thing. It's like, God! Hitting me! Go, get out of here! None of that happened the last time. Where's your stream? Get on stream. I want to see you do it. Get to the stage and do it. Where, where is it? Put it in here. Drop me a link later. I'm going to watch you go through the whole game. I want a no death playthrough from you. Let's get, let's go. Then I get to sit and comment on your gameplay. 
Let's see it. Bay. Now, see, he, he jumps up in the air. I told you, and he wasn't doing that before. Exactly what I'm talking about. So I don't want to hear about the shields on the side. Because he wasn't doing this jump. I dealt with the shields that were on the side of them. How about that? Because the enemy actually, like, jumped up in the air. So I don't want to hear it. Alright, I've never seen this before. Well, let me move. Wow. What, what, um... I don't know. Oh. Uh. This is great. Look how awesome this is. I can't even see it. What? What's happening? Where am I? Oh my god. Oh, I'm in the background. What? How do I avoid those? This is insane. me at the end. Okay. You can put me into the background. Oh, yeah. This is, okay, spins the back. I mean, I mean, like, I got a hit. <laughs> if I get some help. That I, that, I always get hit on that part. I gotta figure that last bit out. I don't know what to do on that last part. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. I'll just run. There you go. That's what you do. That was better. You just run on that last part. You do boom, boom, two, three, four, ah, uh, uh, crap. There's that spike thing there too. 
Oh, oh God. That's, that's probably like extra health or whatever, or extra um, bonus thing. Yep, 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 yep. I don't know. Ugh! Because that stupid spike thing has to be there! I don't know. I was like hitting everywhere. Oh, spin it, please, yeah. It's so much better in the foreground. <sighs> um. What? Come on. Yes, come on, be dead! Ugh, I didn't get it this time. I didn't get it that time. Oh. Ah. Uh, uh. Oh, that was a cool boss fight. I like that was awesome. That one I like. I should put that one earlier. That one's better. Effects were really cool on that stage. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, oh, 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 ah! say ya! All right, go moon, go, go moon, go moon, me go moon. Um, okay, now the game is legit parodious. see anything now. <sighs> like legit, I can't see anything. I don't like that. <sighs> Be done! Uh, point the plane again. I'm, I'm done. Unless this ends right here. Don't fly. Oh, good. I made it. Thank God. Fly hard. Get it? Ha uh, Die hard. Look at this cat thing. There's parallax scrolling for you.
Oh, oh cause my health was like so low. I'll tell you what, even if I don't beat this, I'm, I'm happy I made it this far. Go. Um, I wonder what the hell that was. Yeah, like I totally never made it this far before. Some other kind of like crazy Genesis game with cartoony graphics. I don't know, I'm gonna have to like look that up or something. What are other like crazy Genesis games with cartoony graphics? And not like Rocket Knight, like I know it's not, it wasn't that. Come back here so I can hit you. So that that's a stage that just ends. Okay, so I didn't even like have to beat him. Oh! Oh, they really are doing Parodius now. Uh, like, no joke. I should have kept the other thing. Okay, so it's not even like a... It's not even a joke. It's like, it actually is. Like a, a parody of that. Okay. Like now, now for sure. Because this is like parodious stuff. I was just kind of like, oh, this is similar, but so I, so I'm not like wrong about that because now that now it's like obvious. So they're they were like like really influenced by that, I guess, to do that, like the treasure people, or well. I mean, some of the people probably worked on Par Parodius, I bet, right? Because weren't we saying that it was like some of the Com Konami people that went over to um, Treasure? I wonder if literally, like, the same people made Parodius made this, like, maybe. I'd have to, like, look at the actual people that worked on. face Nothing could be finer than to be in Carolina in the morning baby face No one could be sweeter <laughs> They're like hey shut up This is at uh, like zombies ate my neighbors Baby the baby I remember that big baby running around Remember? Boom! Oh my god! Hello! Hey, see this finger? <laughs> you see this finger?
Something about that, something about that guy, I don't trust that guy. Now I'm supposed to have continues, two continues. Where are they? Try again. Ah. Let's go! Oh good, now I can sing my song again. Aren't you happy? Baby fresh, you got that curious little Remember Rocky and Muggsy for like the old Bugs Bunny cartoons? That's about the era of um, music that I'm into. It's like 1930s gangsters. Maybe French. Where's that finger go? It's like nowhere to be. You please be done. I'll be oh no! I think I beat him, but then I slammed into him or something. I don't know. Ugh. I'm gonna try a different thing. Let's try this. <sighs> What is he spitting on him? Do I even want to know? Probably don't want to know. Okay, that's part one. Show me your finger. Oh, can I not spin around with this? Oh no, what? You gotta be kidding me. That's a problem. I didn't know that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Whoa. What? What? Yeah, it's blocking the screen. Okay. No! Oh my god! <sighs> Damn, this is hard, too. Alright, um... I don't know, man. <sighs> At least I can spin around with this guy. I don't know. I mean, that weapon wasn't bad, either. I made it, I made it further with it. Maybe I should have stuck with it. Probably should have. Oh my god. Come on! Oh, I'm dead already? 
Jeez. Man, that's, this is hard. I think this is my last continue. I'm gonna go with, uh... Well, did I ever try this? Wait. Oh, come on! Damn it! Who does that look like? Whoa. Split into another head. Dude, I hate this. Come on. What? Let go of me! Enough, was it? Come on. Well, at least I beat it. Stop taking my keys. Alright, so I'm gonna make it with the world seven here. So was it seven these seven four and like eight four or something? I bet this goes to like eight. Whoa. This also looks like Parodia stuff. Yeah, the cats and everything, totally. So funny. Look at the look at this. This is nuts. Yeah, I don't have any continues left, so I don't think I don't think I'm beating it, but uh, I'm very happy that I made it as far as I did. Uh, I don't know where to hit them. Oh, do I hit this? Wait, what? I can't hit anything. Oh, what? They threw the key? What is happening? What? Once again, now I don't understand. I can't hit anything. And she's throwing a key around and I'm getting killed. What the hell? I don't know what to do. You, I have to hit the key?
The key is powering up the boss. So what, I get... Okay. So what did they... She throw the key on the ground and then I, like, hit the key off the screen or something? I don't understand this at all. She's throwing the key into the robot's backpack. But what does that mean? Somebody throws a key into somebody's backpack. Is that supposed to mean... What does that... What does that mean? It's like, I see her throwing the key at it, but it's like, it's normal to throw keys at one's backpack. Yeah. It's so easy. Well, why don't you explain then what it's all about then? It looks like the robot doesn't like the keys in the backpack. I wish I knew what to do. Just don't get hit. You like turtles. Great. Don't accidentally hit Heather. You'll get pummeled for it. Okay. But what else? What am I supposed to do, though? N nobody has said. Let her throw the keys. Distract him. What the... Him? The robot thing? Isn't that a girl robot? Maybe the key is in the backpack. Maybe when the key is in the backpack, it becomes weak. Maybe the key is the key. Thanks. Let her throw the keys. Wait, let her throw the keys in the backpack. That's what you do. Maybe do nothing. This is not helping me at all, any of this. It looks like you have to make the robot face away from the girl. What? You think it's solely to survive. Okay. That's what it seems like to me. So legit, you just have to let her throw the keys in the book bag for some reason that I don't understand. I mean, that's a cool effect. Help me! Oh, dude, I didn't. I shouldn't have done that. Uh oh. too much okay so the first thing she's standing up top for some reason that i don't understand she's throwing keys in a book bag whatever the hell that means but regardless you let her throw the keys in the book bag and then she like gets captured by this robot the robot goes crazy and becomes evil or something and then you're like really fighting the robot and then it's crosshairs are going around and which I guess I'm trying to avoid that but if the crosshairs lock on me I guess that's when the arm is coming out to hit me I'm just trying to like wrap my head around what is going on in this boss way I don't really salvage bar says what is even going on I don't know <laughs> so somebody that's played this game before says no idea this boss beat the heck out of you is this the furthest you made it this might be the furthest I ever make it 
The chickens are cute, though, yeah. He grabbed your girlfriend, and he's using her to block you. Right. I know. I notice he's doing, like, this over his face, so I, I assume you gotta, like, wait for him to be done with his attack, and then you can attack. But it's it, there's, like, a lot going on, and he's, like, jumping around, and the arms are going all over the place, and then there's the crosshairs, and the background's coming apart. It's just, like... At this point, we're guessing. I think we've been guessing for hours here. Do I, Mike, do you remember when Link went down into the lava instead of up the ladder? What? In what, the Zelda cartoon? In Link to the Past? In Breath of the Wild? In Zelda 2? Like, what are you talking about? No, I don't remember. In the Valiant Zelda comics? Like, Jimbo says, I have been beat this twice, Mike, and I've been trying to help the whole time. Well, you know what happens, Jimbo, is that there's 500 people and everybody's saying different things to me. And some people have the correct advice and some people don't. And I don't know who is what, you know, who has the correct information. So I, it's just a big gamble for me. Superman turns 50. Who cares? I agree. <laughs> Did Superman? No, Super, Superman's been... Uh, I mean, that's like the 1930s. What are you talking about? Super, that would be like... A, Superman's probably like 100 years old or something. What, what, what are you talking about? Superman turns 50. Who cares? I mean, how old is the Superman character? Isn't it like 100 years old? Practically? And anyway, regardless, let's say Superman, let's say today it was like, oh, 100 years of Superman. Okay, who cares? Either way. I don't care. I agree with you. But why are you talking about Superman turns 50? Superman didn't turn 50. What, the, what does that mean? It's like you go to the grocery store and, they, you know, it's one of those crappy things that they have when you're checking out. And it would be like weekly world news, right? And one of the one of the ones that I it would always be different things, but one of the ones I remember was there was a it was the it was the front of the newspaper and there's a there's a cannon and the guy is in the cannon with a helmet on and it says man fires himself to work in cannon to beat rush hour traffic. But you're like at, it's like next to like real newspapers. And then you look at that and you're like, wait, what? <laughs> you know, it's stuff like that. This is a funny, a funny magazine. Oh, I need that. There we go. All right, so. This is just a void, basically, right? Like that's one. You could probably gotta do three of them or something. I just didn't know what was going on earlier. Ugh, come on. Throw it in there. Probably gonna end like here. Like, I don't think I'm making it past this thing. This is an awesome effect, though. That's that's really cool. Help me! All right, so okay.
I don't know where where to be when the arm is going all over the place. Ugh. Do I stand underneath? Like I don't. I think there's like just maybe just a lot of avoidance here. Okay, and then then just kind of just stay away. Two, three, and there's four, right? And then I can hit him. Oh my god, I'm trying to figure it out. I think it's like when he's do when the arm is spinning, it's like try to avoid it, and then I don't know what there's like rockets that shoot in the air at one point and I don't know what that's about and then the crosshairs get on top of me which in an, in one of the earlier boss fights you can like run out of the way of the cross on the cat I remember the castle that I fight like earlier you can like run out of the way of the crosshair but this crosshair I don't think you can avoid this crosshair When you hit Heather, she throws something into the sky that hurts you every time. But I'm hitting her. I thought I'm supposed to hit the head of because the, the little how do I even explain this? The little Cupid guy comes out and then he points to the head of the robot and it's like hit the head, right? So when I can, when the arms aren't going all over the place, I hit the thing in the head. But he's also holding her where his head is, right? Because he's he's like he's got her. So, am I hitting her, and then it's harming me, or am I hitting the head? It's both in the the place where I'm supposed to be hitting and her. She's there, it's in the same place. He's holding her here, and I'm supposed to hit him in that. It's just, like what <laughs> you know. No tips that you can give. Great. You wait. You remember watching a video about this boss? Apparent. Wow. Okay. Apparently, the crosshair is aiming for your head, not your body. Uh, okay. So you can kind of bait it out the attacks with your own attack. What by like by me attacking like the. Oh, so like. If my so when I do my attack, if my head is out and the crosshair is like on my head when it's out, when my head retracts, then the crosshair won't be on me or something. This is I don't know. Let me. I I need to really read what you guys are saying. What about this Jimbo? Like, what does he say? Because he says he's done it for before. When he attacks with the claw in rapid fire like that, you shoot your head up and tap the button. Oh, so when he's doing the arm out really fast. That's when I attack him. Also, okay, I, I didn't realize that. So I was wait, I was doing it at the wrong time. Also, if you can make the claw go off screen, it will bring it back a power up. Oh, really? Huh? If yeah, if I can do that. You shoot up and the claw misses you. Yeah. Alright. I think this is my last life. I wish I had, like... I wish I could do this boss, like, 20 times so I could, like, get it down, you know? But it's, this is, like, gonna be my only shot here to do this. I, I, it's, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Sucks. I have to go through the whole. I don't have any continues left either. This is the end. This is the end, basically. <sighs> Maybe I should duck there instead. Let's try it. Nope. Okay. Well, now I know. So you do have to jump. 
I probably have to like jump into the arm, actually, to do it. So I have to do like that. That's how you do that. So I go, I go like that. Okay. I, now I just figured that out. It's like I'm figuring all this out too late. I go like that. Understand that part. Oops. All right, now all this. Now supposedly when he's doing the arm stuff is when I hit him. This part, right? That's not what I am. But, uh, like that when his arm's out or something. Wait, what? He's not doing the arm thing like before. Now I can hit him, right? Oh, I don't get it. I don't. I still don't understand it. Oh, she's. Oh, she's out. So when she. Okay. Okay. Wait. 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 She's in his hand, and when he attacks out, she's. She's like away from him, and that's what. All right. I gotta wait for her to not be by his head, basically. That's. Uh, God. That that right there is what I could hit him. Ugh, but then there's fire. Like, oh, oh, no, and I hit her by accident. That's the, that's the wrong arm. I need, I need more lives. Okay, look, that, that's when I, yeah. Oh, this arm. Jeez. I need more lives, that's it, right? Do I have one more? Oh. That's so hard. Oh my god. All right. Um wow. Man, that's hard. I don't have to practice that more. At least I understand when he ha when that robot has her this is, I don't think, that's probably not even the last level, right? There's like another level or something, another world after that. But, um, but man, it's just like the arms are all over the place and, and they get, they give you that hammer thing, but they give it to you so early. By the time you're fighting the boss, it's like you don't have that hammer anymore. But apparently if you can somehow make his arm go off the screen, then you can, that's how you get, I would have to learn that, actually, because I don't think there's any way I'd be able to beat that without power-ups, too, you know, so it's like, I'd have to figure out how to, oh, that's how you get that banana, you jump through the wall, I was wondering about that, it's so early, though, it kind of doesn't matter, but, uh, they show you in the demo, I, it's like an invisible wall, um, I would have to figure out how you get, how you like time it so that like the robot arm goes off the screen to grab the power up and when you're supposed to do that to, to bring back the power up for me to be, even be able to get the power up. Oh, he uses the invisible to get by the feet. And I was, I mean, I guess you, there's different methods you could do. I was using the hammer. Um, that's crazy. Well, this game gets really. Hard. This is not an easy game, man. So here's here's my thing. I think that I like this game, uh, except for the the one thing that I kept complaining about. E even the tower, I'm like, all right, with honestly, with the cat, like, I'm even fine with that. It's just that that like centipede thing. That's like the second stage or something. I hate that. But the rest of the game, I like really like actually. 
I think this is a really good game. I, I like that it's difficult. Um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop for now um, because you know it's gonna take me forever to get back to that boss. But I I would play this more. Uh, I I do really like this game. That this is definitely the most I've ever played this game. In the beginning of the stream, I said that I uh, I thought that I had beat the beat in this game before. I absolutely never did. Um, I was thinking of a different game, and I don't know what the hell I was thinking of. But uh, I I do like this game. And there's other games. Um, there's there's like so many Genesis games that I'm interested in. Like I I love I like like Rocket Knight. I'm thinking of like these other like cartoon style games. I never even saw that part with that like that ladder. I never went that way. I guess I always went up there. Um, every time I watch these demos, I wish they'd do demos of the other stages. I'm learning all this stuff by looking at the demos. <laughs> anyway, uh, oh yeah, like Decap Attack is a really cool. I I like I didn't I haven't beaten that either. I did a stream at Decap Attack and I made it pretty far, uh, but I didn't beat it. One day I'd like to beat Decap Attack too, and another treasure game I did a stream of and I also didn't beat um, Light Crusader. Um, that's a really cool game. Uh, that I'd like to, I'd like to stream that again. I would probably, I would, I would come back to this game because I, I, I like it enough. Uh, so this is, a, this is a good Sega Genesis game is my determination on Dynamite. Big surprise, right? Because it's like, it's treasure. Of course, it's going to be a good Sega Genesis game. Anyway, I just wanted to like throw out my thoughts about this right now. But, um, yeah, man, but that, that robot boss is nuts. Really difficult. Hey, I beat Adventure of Batman and Robin. That's a really difficult one. Uh, check out that stream on uh, YouTube if you never saw that stream that I did. Uh, that game's crazy. And you know what? There's, there's a lot of awesome special effects in, in this game. Um, and Adventure of Batman and Robin, I've been, I've been thinking about that game a lot while I was playing this because... Adventures of Batman and Robin has a lot of cool special effects, like when you're fighting the Mad Hatter and all that. So yeah, so that's on uh, that's on YouTube. Check that out if you never saw that stream. Uh, I'll probably come back to this one day, um, or may maybe I'll come back to it on the next stream. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I, I like this game. It's good. That's it. Have a good one, guys, and thanks for all the subs today. See you next time. Bye.